All right, welcome back to our training day podcast. I got my man Greg Wolf looking at his beautiful downtown South Bend. Oh, I love saying South Bend because it make there's only one thing that I think of when I say South Bend, but I would never say South Bend if I wasn't looking at your downtown office. Newly minted, you guys are crushing it. FFL Imagine Financial taking the scene and uh, cracking open some new office space. I'm excited for you, man. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm uh, on top of the world. We are we are in the heart of downtown, as love, you can see right behind love, us. Love, love, love. Yeah, which is what we wanted to do. We want to make an impact to right here at home, too. So that's uh, super exciting uh, to be a part of that. That's amazing, man. So talk to us a little about this new space. You know, last time we talked, you guys were breaking records. I want to see kind of where you're at and how this – how the excitement around this new space, how long did it take you guys to find this and, you know, to get in there and actually get it to the, to the spec you want it? Yeah. So, uh, the space that we were at when we first started off kind of a temporary, uh, spot, we knew we were going to need more space. And so, uh, put the feelers out there with the, with our realtor and said, Hey, find us something that's nice. He showed us a few places. We didn't really, we, we knew it wasn't home. Was right? the whole, thing, for us, whole time you was thinking downtown? We were looking for what's affordable the whole Got time. Got it. Makes right? sense. And uh, in the beginning, you're showing us some spots. And we're like, man, this is, this doesn't feel right. right, right? right, right. I'm about to feel uh, a lot of times. And uh, I need a place that feels like home. Like uh -huh. when we're, we're going to uh -huh. pour everything in and we're going to spend a lot of time in this office. Right. So I want it to feel good. So showed up, showed us a bunch of few places, a bunch of places and uh, all in all, man. Um, first go around, we said, let's keep looking. Finally, it was probably about, probably about a month long. We ended up, uh, finding this place. As soon as we walked into it, we said, we didn't need to look any further. Like it was, everything made sense. We've it. got about 11 closed door offices. Mm. So it allows agents to be able to shut the door. They got window views just like this of downtown. Mm. We are on the second floor. So we get to look up and look out, which is nice. Wow. And then we've got a whole other area that we've got uh, like a bullpen area that agents can come in, you know, just go to go to town. We've got some cubicles set up. It's a nice space. Very inviting. Very nice, man. So it's got to be exciting, man. Uh, you know, oh, it's just a galvanizing for your team, galvanizing for your leaders. Um and then, you know, again, you're in the heart of downtown. Anytime yeah. in the heart of any downtown city, it does feel good. We talk about, you know, you guys came to New Jersey and we played around the golf and we talked about Notre Dame football. We <laughs> talked about getting out to a game because I thought it was awesome and I'd never been to one. And yeah. now you guys are doing a grand opening coming up here pretty soon, right? Yep, October 13th, grand opening, followed by the USC Notre Dame. USC tailgate. Notre Dame. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they Ooh, said 200,000 people will be at this event tailgating. It's no sense. And then stadium, 80,000 fans, night game. It's going to be nuts. So you can't even fly in the South Bend, from what I'm calculating. Is Man, they said uh, the amount of private jets that just fly into South Bend is like 30 to 40 private jets flying in and out just to, on game day. That makes that makes Crazy. sense. <laughs> that makes sense. It's a college. Like, I totally get the vibe. I, I'm excited. I'll tell you that. Energy. Yeah, no energy. doubt. That's, one, that's another reason why we're here. We we know energy is what brings people. Yes. And being in the heart of, of being just around and being in the atmosphere, that's what, that's what we want. We wanted the energy of that. Well, you have the energy of that, and that's going to be a momentous event. Um, but all of this is because you have a burgeoning agency. It's because you have leaders that are starving. It's because you have people that see the vision, that are issue paying a bunch a month, that are bringing people on. You guys are hiring through your warm market portal, if you will, and, and it's just something to watch. Talk to us about the excitement around the group, the excitement around your leaders and what's happening. Man, it's it's happening. Uh, what we visioned, what we planned out um, is coming to fruition, which is exciting to say. We've got some guys that are getting the business, understanding how to help a ton of families on a month to month basis and not just do it you know, on a fluke and uh, but being consistent with it. And that's what it takes. Um, 
the business is the business and everybody goes through a lot of ups and downs with bringing on a ton of people like we did in the beginning. So mm -hmm. we've got that and that we're trying to figure through, but the people that get, that are getting it are helping a ton of families between 30 and 45 families a month, which is super exciting to see those guys just, and they get to reap the, the benefits of that too, which is, which is awesome. So I love it. And yeah, you always, you always deal with, you know, some flux here, some flux there, people that get it, people that don't get it, people that want it, people that don't want it. Ne that was That's never really the point. The point is where your energy levels are and what you're committed to. Because I can't tell you the amount of people that I've seen come and go and even come back a lot of the times sure, throughout sure. the years. And it's it's funny. You, you start off, you think you're building with these four, five, six, and then, you know, you might be dealing with another three, four, five before you know it. The truth is, is every person you meet is a lead to a person you're going to meet. And yeah. if you guys are committed to build, building a big agency, which you are, big agency's coming. It doesn't matter how you slice it. You know what I mean? It's it's leadership. You know what I mean? And, and that's what you represent. So what does that make you think of? A mentor told me once, control what you can control. And I've, I've lived by that. I can't control if somebody doesn't get it or doesn't want to you know, fully commit, but I can control what I do day in and day out. And that's having the energy, that's having the support, that's having the training, that's pouring into the people that uh, that want to grow and grow their business and grow, grow their brand. And so that's what we're doing. We're continuing to uh, recruit. I mean, we've got, uh, shoot, every time I, I feel like I say this, we've got 15 to 20 people coming up through the, uh, through the training course, which that flow never needs to stop. And that's what we're doing. We're going we're gonna to continue that. And um, the rewards of that, you don't see today. You see that, you know, three, six, uh, 30 days to 60 days out before you start seeing some, some benefits of that. But that's why that pipeline needs to stay full. But that's what we can control. We can control our activity. And it's the same thing, you know, with the, with the agents that are helping families. They can control what they can control. Correct. You can't control a family if they say yes or no. It's the right. policy. Mm -hmm. You can control the activity that you put into it. So that's right. what we're doing. Right. So now... Talk to us about your recruiting activity. What does that look like on a day-to-day -day basis? What are you sourcing from? How are you, you know, maintaining the volume and, and keeping people in class? What are you doing to bring the people on? Being intentional. That's, that's the word. Being 100% attentive to it. So if uh, there's a week that goes by that we're not intentional about it, we notice it. Um, and I always say intentional, that's, post on Facebook, that's messages on Facebook, that's reaching out to people that said, hey, I, I'm kind of interested, can you, can I know more? Having conversations. Um, it never stops having conversations with people. And it's not maybe, for some people, it's multiple conversations before they make that jump. So not giving up and just being like, oh, we talked about it, the ball's in their court. It's hey, dripping on those, those people as well. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's a constant, um, intentional focus on, hey, who can we, who can we talk to today about the business, right? Who needs to know about it? Because that's ultimately people just don't know what they don't know. Right, and right, so right. showing them the opportunity is what we're trying to do. Love it. So all warm market all, or mainly warm market? Um, mainly warm, warm market. We're dipping a little bit into uh, into some cold market recruiting. So What are you using gotta, right now? Right now, just uh, some Facebook ads. Um, Facebook ads. And I've gotten uh, two or three guys that are, one guy that's actively writing for us right now, doing awesome. It's in his second week and uh, came from actually another agency. So that was cool. So he didn't have to, you know, do his class, but saw what we were about, got on a Zoom call with him and uh, told him what we do. And he, you know, felt, felt at home. Uh, he's excited about it. I'm excited about it. And yeah, he's pushing. So it's exciting to see that. I, you know, I don't know him from anything and then see his development within the framework of what Family First Life and imagine yes. what we can bring to somebody else, which is very, very cool. Love it. Now, when you um, talk about sourcing and Facebook guys, are they booking to your calendar? Are you calling them when they come in? Um, how are you getting that first conversation off? So we've got a system that it sends, in, sends it to a um, CRM system, and then I'm able to contact them, have all their information, have them fill out like a basically a form, uh, an application. <laughs> and I treat it like that, have them fill that out, and then I uh, reach out to them. Got it. How many of those typically are coming in on a weekly basis? So as of right now, we had a lot coming in. 
And with the move, with the uh, grand opening, grand office opening, we kind of shut it off on how much we wanted to spend just to make sure that we're, uh, you know, not putting something out there that we can't deliver on. Sure. So when they were coming in, we were getting, uh, we ran it for uh, three weeks. And in that three-week time period, we had like 40 to 50 applications come in. I talked to probably half of those, and then we ended up getting about four or five of them in the course. Got it. What is your line of questioning typically? How are you navigating the conversation from the time that they, you know, pick up the phone to remind them or to kind of let them know who we are, what we do, and how you guys are getting them interested in yeah. the deal? I'm, a, I'm of the approach that just – with anything that I've done, I, I try to build a relationship. So I want to know about you, um, and I try to lead the lead the conversation or the the narrative that way. Tell me about you. Tell me what you've been doing. Tell me what what you want, and I, I figure out real quick if this is something that will work, um, because I do want to know that because I don't mm -hmm. want to you know let bring on people that it might not be the right fit for them. And I tell them up front all of the the expectations so they have a good idea and they can make a decision if they think this is something that they want. But I let them, I build that relationship with them. And I think that that's been better. Um, and I don't just like download them with a bunch of information about every single thing that, that Family First Life has and all the different things and ins and outs. I, I want to know about them. Hey, what do you want? What are you looking for? What, what's your, what's your goals? And we see if we can make it work. Got it. And now what buzzwords or, 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 what do you? What gets you excited? There's got to be a, like a const, a constant theme or a or mindset that you're looking for, that that kind of you you start licking your chops like you know, like you know you got maybe a player on the phone like somebody that you could work with. What does that What does that sound and look like for our listeners? Yeah, I look at uh, people's track record on what kind of work ethic they have because I feel like this business is that right. So. It, I've heard it so many times. Well, it sounds too good to be true. Well, the only part that, that goes with that, because it is at, on some levels, it is too good to be true. But the, that secret ingredient is hard work. You put that together with everything and, and it's gold, it's magic. So I look to see if, hey, are you going to be a hard worker? If you think that this is something that you can just kind of, you know, meander about and kind of play with, it's probably not going to work, especially in the beginning. You may be able to work your way to that, but it's not going to work like that at the beginning. It's so funny. I was talking to an agent the other day, and she was saying to me that, you know, people think that you could kind of just kind of mosey and sometimey your way in and out of this deal because it feels very independent. It also feels like they're just going to, like, deposit the money, right? Like, it just it feels like, you know, you ever had, like, Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Or... Um, what's the what's the burger on the West Coast? Uh, uh, which, uh In and Out Burger. In and Out, yeah, yeah. For some reason, <laughs> when that when the when the chick when the Chick Fil A sandwich, and then and the In and Out Burger gets close to your mouth, it just melts off of the bun, and the portion that was supposed to fall in your mouth falls in your mouth, mm -hmm. and it's it's something that they're putting in it, obviously, but. <laughs> the reality is, is some people look at insurance that way. They look at it as this overly independent thing where as soon as you get close to it, it's just going to fall off and just be scrumptious. And bro, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way, does it, Greg? No, it doesn't. And I, I tell, I had, an, I had a conversation with an agent just not too long ago. I said, hey, as a mentor to you, because that's what I am. I'm not your boss. I don't, I don't tell you to dictate when you come into work. But I want to know, like, what kind of accountability do you want from me? Because you tell me you want this, but I can see as your work ethic goes, when you're coming in and what you're doing isn't saying what you want. Right. So we need to, like, hey, do you want me to? Uh, maybe that freedom is almost too much for you because right. – you need somebody to tell you, hey, I need to, you need to be here or you need me to message you or whatever. And I'll do that for you if you want me to. But I need to know that I got your blessing on that because that's what it's going to take to get to the X amount of goals or the kind of families that you want to help or protect. Um, so you need to let me know, hey, and we need to be real about it. I think that the shying around and getting, you know, hiding behind it and dancing around is, uh, 
is where where people go to die. To be honest with you, <laughs> we just gotta we gotta be real. Yeah. We gotta be transparent, and that's what uh, that's what it's all about. Because when when done correctly, man, this business is the best business in the entire world. It's lights out. When done correctly. When done correct. I love the way you say that. How do you determine who your builders are good? Like, how do you offer up the building opportunity, or how do you figure out when to start poking and prodding around that? What is, what is your what is your approach to that? Yeah, that's been uh, something that's I don't think I've got that totally figured out yet. Um, I'm a man that lo- that knows that I n- am learning every single day, so I think that. I've pushed at times for some people to grow when maybe it's not the right time. So I think what we do and what we've done is we evaluate it on a weekly basis. So my guys that I call managers that are with me here, um, we sit down every week and we say, Hey, where we're at, let's, let's be, again, let's be truthful. Let's be honest. That's what this business brings. It's not like any other industry where we don't have to pretend anything. So let's be honest with each other. What are we ready to do that? Are you prepared for what that looks like? So I want to make sure that they are, now, I've also told them, hey, I'm available to you. So don't think that you have to do this on your own. We've got a whole entire group that's ready to help and prepare and train these these uh, these agents that, you know, if that's something that you want. But I think it starts with guys that are our leaders, right, and that want what's best. Guys that are straightforward, um, guys and gals that are straightforward, that are say, hey, I know what I want, and I know that they understand that, hey, they get the opportunity to help people and help families and help help other agents come into this and change their lives. So it all has got to go together. That's what I would say that we're trying to work towards and figuring out what makes the most sense on that. Love it. And with anything else, as you have maybe some people that it might not be the right fit for, you have people that love it and are, you know, chomping, the, you know, eating the meat off the bone. As you said, yeah. you have some new killers that have come on that absolutely can taste it. You know, what is it like watching those men and women take flight? Man, it's it's the most rewarding thing yeah. in the entire world. I, I, get, I get so excited about it. Uh, just to see, um, see from the different stages of, like, the struggling days, right, where it's like, man, I don't know. And then, the man, it's this is awesome, too, like, consistency and just seeing, like, the, the consistency just play out, and it's like, Remember, I told you we were going to get here. <laughs> so, that's what's exciting. It's just watching the, those progressions with different people. And uh, it doesn't happen the same way with every person. And that's something that, you know, me as a mentor need to understand. And me and Andrew, we talk about that all the time. Like, hey, every person isn't going to have the same exact path as another. Right. They may catch on or do things differently. And it may happen differently for different folks. But it's exciting, man. It's, it's so rewarding uh, to know that their life's impacting and how much they're impacting others. Yo, you're learning a lot right now. You're learning a lot right now. In your business, where you're at, you're learning a lot. What'd you say? So much, yeah, you're right. And I think you're you're a sponge. I can hear. We didn't talk that long ago, but you sound different today than you did the last time we spoke, which is really good because you're in it, you know? You're, You're out there every day scrapping and clawing, trying to make it happen, trying to help one more person. I'm going to move the needle for one more human being and one more person's family. So that's huge, bro. And I cannot go unstated or understated in this approach, in this, in your quest. You know, when you look at the way you're framing your agency and the goals you have for 2020, the remainder of the year and into 2024, you know, what are some things that, you know, get you excited about growth? Yeah. So this office is, is testament to that. I mean, Andrew both said, Hey, this is a fresh start for our business. Essentially. We've got the, we've got some, uh, some good foundational stuff and, and some good agents that are mm-hmm. making some, some traction, but this allows us the opportunity to really attract and really bring in, um, what we want to and pack this office out. That's our goal is by the end of 2023 to be able to have some, have this office rocking and rolling. And being able to just, man, the energy is here. We got a big sale bell. You'll see it when you come in. It's we'll be ringing the bell. It, energy. That's that's what we want. <laughs> want to have people here. People feed off of people. And I feel like this business can get a lo- can be lonely if you allow it to be. But when you have the energy here and you have the, the people around you 
that just want you to win, man, that's the best business in the world. I that love is, it, man. That's the second time I said that. That is it. how you imagine, my brother. That's how uh, you imagine. And I appreciate you for jumping on with us. Thank you for sharing. I'm looking forward to the grand opening. Greg, I'm looking forward to seeing you in your new office in that downtown view and uh, trekking through 200,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we got the prime spot with you coming into town, you and uh, Joe and, and Matt and Mike and all those, Mindy and David, Star. I mean, we, we got a crew coming. It's going to be good. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Yeah. Well, appreciate you, brother. Thanks for sharing your process, and thank you for sharing your wisdom. You're the man, brother. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate you. God bless you all. Keep listening.